quantum computing is ditching its science fiction label and becoming a reality. But the big question is when will fully experience it? In a major leap forward, researchers have finally created a way for two machines to link up and share stored quantum information. Think of it as the baby steps towards a full-blown quantum internet. Even cooler, they've done this at a wavelength that works with the same fiber optic cables we use for everyday internet. So guys, hello and welcome back to QuantumFi. In today's video, we'll talk about the historic breakthrough of quantum internet. So let's get started. The Basics of Quantum Internet – Photons This breakthrough gets us closer to a future in the truest sense, where secrets are completely secure online and crazy complex calculations happen in the blink of an eye. That's the potential of quantum tech, where we play by the weird rules of quantum mechanics. But to get there, we need to figure out how to move and store quantum information, which is usually carried by tiny light particles called photons. One of the coolest platforms out there for creating those fancy quantum communication photons are these things called semiconductor quantum dots. Think of them like tiny artificial atoms, bits of material built to blast out light with special quantum traits. It's like they can produce photons, just when you need them, making them perfect for those secure quantum communication ideas. But to build a whole quantum network that actually works, we have to store and process these photons. That's where things get interesting. We we need atomic quantum memories. Basically, these memories are like bunches of atoms designed to soak up the quantum state of the light and hang on to it for later. Sounds easy, but the tricky part is getting these two systems, the quantum dots and the memories, to actually play nice with each other. The Challenge Imagine trying to catch a specific raindrop in a bucket during a downpour. This is kind of like the challenge of connecting quantum dots to atomic memory. The issue is the light emitted by the quantum dot and the kind of light the atomic memory wants are usually mismatched. That's where Dr. Sarah Thomas and Lucas Wagner's team come in. They're tackling this problem head on with some super cool techniques. First, they basically tuned the quantum dot to emit a specific color of light, one that works in the same range as our our internet. Think of it like making sure the raindrop is the perfect size for the bucket. This opens the door to seamlessly connect quantum tech the way which we already communicate online. The Breakthrough Okay, so they started by carefully adjusting a light using fancy tools called filters and modulators. The goal was to make sure the light's characteristics were a perfect match for this atomic memory they were using. Now, this memory is kind of special. It's called Orca, and it works with a bunch of rubidium atoms. Basically, they shoot a super strong pulse of light at these atoms, and it changes how they absorb stuff. This lets them temporarily store the quantum state of the photon they were tweaking earlier. The coolest part was the team managed to store single photons from their special source inside the rubidium memory and then get them back whenever they wanted. They stored the photons pretty well with an efficiency of 12.9%. Even better, the photons they retrieved still had all their original quantum properties. Think of it like their quantum fingerprint was totally intact. The signal to noise ratio of 18 to 2 proves just how good this memory is at keeping delicate quantum information safe. Quantum Future Researchers made a big leap towards building a powerful new kind of network, hybrid quantum networks. This research, published in Science Advances, describes linking different quantum systems to tackle complex tasks. Imagine a future internet, but for quantum information. This network could handle sending, storing, and processing quantum information, just like the internet does for regular data. However, there are still some hurdles. The researchers need to improve how efficiently they can store store and retrieve information. They also need to find ways to make this storage last longer. But don't worry, the researchers are already on it, looking at techniques to improve these areas. This is a promising step towards a revolutionary new kind of network. To really make these quantum systems take off, we need to shrink them down into tiny chips. Think about putting lots of those quantum dots and memory units onto the chip, all connected with mini roads and switches. This is where it gets tricky though. We need serious breakthroughs in how we build stuff on a super small scale, better materials, and even whole new ways for these parts
starts to talk to each other. But the why is what matters here. Think about communication that no one can hack. Quantum computers link together with insane power, sensors way more precise than anything we have now, and the ability to really test the wildest ideas of quantum mechanics across huge distances, bringing together the best of how we work with solids and how we manipulate individual atoms. This opens up a whole new world of futuristic technology. Final Notes this quantum tech breakthrough has been a long time coming. Researchers in the field, including Dr. Patrick Lettingham's team from the University of Southampton, have been working on this type of connection for years. Their past experiments highlight just how challenging this stuff is. What makes this experiment special is the collaboration. They brought in experts with the best equipment and worked in tight sync to pull it off. Essentially, they've proven you can store and pull individual photons from a quantum dot into an atomic quantum memory. This opens doors for hybrid quantum systems, and the really exciting part is that it works in the telecommunications band. That's huge for actually building real-world quantum applications. Hybrid systems like this will be super important as we keep pushing the boundaries of quantum tech. The future of quantum networking looks seriously bright, and this experiment is another step towards making it a reality. And this was it for today, guys. Hit like if you enjoyed our video, comment down what you want to see in our next video, subscribe to Get Quantumfied, and stay Stay tuned as we'll be back soon with another important video. Till then, keep watching Quantumfy.